Hey guys, what is going on? Starting another episode on Life After, and today a new training has been released. So basically, time from 2019, from March, today is March 7, till March 13, this new event is gonna last. And as you can see, one day training login, we can already claim this and we got rewards so this is the new training event basically and now we have to complete the task again let me go to my profile click copy and then let's see if this gets completed on training there we go go to character profile and share the and an invitation code let's claim that now what i would buy here is wood cores basically and then use those wood cores you know crafting uzis so i bought 30 wood cores and now guys, in this video I also wanted to talk about modifications. So to craft your own modifications, you find a weapon shop right over here and you find a armor shop right over here. So if you go inside here and you can make cotton layer, chain layer, steel layer, and as you can see, all of those cost at least one six cloth and six plastic. This one costs six plastic and six cloth too. And this one costs two, but third resource is different. The other resources are all the same though. So yeah, you need six screws for this one, six high, seven hides for this one, and for this one you need six iron. Not that expensive, you know? So for armor modification tab, you want to go and start crafting chain layer first, and then continue to cotton, and then continue to this one. Or vice versa, continue to steal and then get cotton last. But I mean, cotton is cheaper because it doesn't cost anything on this last material here. It just costs hides. So you can go for cotton and lastly go for steel. I already have unlocked Uzi mod, which is this one. As you can see, fine stock, five stars. This is the best modification you should always modify first. The other modifications comes the last. The highest priority is the fine stock. Why? Because it's... It gives you damage, it improves your gun stability, so yeah, man, this is what you should go for. You can see attack power, recoil down, this one improves reduced scattering, critical chance, this one critical chance damage bonus. So it goes like this, find stock, find muzzle, and then aim assister. This is how you're supposed to build it, but you will need three of them anyways, and once you have three of them, all three of them can be put, one goes on the barrel and one goes for your laser so this is the stock as you can see aim assist right over here and muzzle right here you put all of those and then you upgrade them now first of all when you craft them they will craft for four hours and after you craft one as you can see i have this find muzzle in, in my mailbox so i accept that and uh, i already made aim assist accept that also first focus on your weapon modifications second focus on your armor modifications you always want to do more damage than receive less damage. And now, we can put the mods on your Uzi like this and like this. As you can see, it puts on just like that. And my Uzi looks pretty awesome, to be honest. The reason why my stock is legitimately good is because I have upgraded it to 5 stars. So to upgrade your modifications, this is what you need. This is what you need. As you can see, right over here, I'm bringing out... These are modifications for your attachments. You can use those parts to modify your attachments into better stats. So for example, this one. Um, let's click Part Compose. And as you can see, I have five of those. If you click Accessory Refit, and then you can just select which one you want to upgrade. So for example, now, I would love to upgrade my Aim Assister like this, and then this one once. And now... So you need one star to upgrade one star mod. So now as you can see it shows two star, means we need two star to upgrade it. Now to get two star, you have to combine one star, two mods to get two star. So as you can see, level one mechanical materials, amount owned. We have three materials. Two is needed to compose it into two star. And then you compose, and then you compose two star, two mods to level three, and then two level threes to level four, and then two level fours to level five, then two level fives to level six, and so on, and so on. So as you can see, I have one star of this. I will use up two of them to get a two star modification. So I click compose, as you can see, it's le now I have three left and then we have received a two star modification. So that's how it works. Now as you can see it's two star. If I compose the one star modifications, compose once, now we have two star. So I can now upgrade any of this one. So I'm going to modify my aim assister like this. And now we need 
three star. So basically now we need to combine two star, two modifications to get a three star. That's pretty simple. You guys will get it once you get the modifications. So now to get the modifications, I already explained it, but I will explain again because this video is, you know, attachments video. We have to explain that. There's many ways to obtain modifications but I will show you the most quickest and simple ways. First of all, doing 12 versus 12 event, which is basically done by going to a helicopter and then proceeding here, Nancy City. And then once you finish it, you will get points, which then have to be claimed from your mailbox. And then you use those points to buy those modifications. You can buy only two of those and two of those, armor and weapons. Next thing is you have to be in a camp to buy the modifications from Lisa right there. As you can see, she sells it for money. Two of those, buy it for 6k. And then if you go to weapons shop 2, right over here, as you can see, she sells weapon modifications. 6,000 cash for two once again. So now we got that. Another way I'll tell you guys how else you can get it. You must basically have to contribute food to NPCs. I will make a separate guide for that though because it's a little bit complicated and it requires more detailed information for that. So that's all I can show you guys for the attachments. There's nothing really much else than that. So our clan is doing great guys. We need to upgrade this R&D device so we can get technologies in our clan. We have prosperity, we have enough prosperity to upgrade it and look we're gonna be leveling up soon in here. Prosperity level 18, we're about to hit level 19 and if we click upgrade we need 26 for the last upgrade which might take a little bit and our clan is doing great currently we have food tax on five wood tax on five stone tax on 25 percent because we need stone for clan upgrades this gets lowered to five percent once we're done with upgrades but once we need an upgrade we will rise up the taxes and then we will notify people and guys make sure you join my discord because it would be really great if you could so that's how we could communicate all together if you guys wanted to get food recipes unlocked you basically go to text Brandon right here, talk to this big boy, -o. and as you can see, he sells recipes, strawberry jelly. It's a jelly containing a big strawberry, which can increase movement speed and crit chance for a long time. So you can buy all those recipes, as you can see, recipe spaghetti, fruit cake, special pizza. You can buy that. I'm gonna buy this, because I need those fertilizers, my man. So yeah, let's buy the book recipes. Like that, like that, like that. And once you buy them, they instantly get learned. I'm pretty sure. You don't need to do anything, learn anything. I sold an Uzi in the market and I want to make another Uzi right now because selling Uzis now is so profitable. You can get really rich by doing that. All I need to get is 10 ores, but I do not have that. If only I could have 10 ores here. We don't have 10 ores. That sucks because I need to make an Uzi, right? Make weapons, as you can see, Uzi SMG. I need 10 iron castings. Actually, we can make an... We have enough. Hey, boy. I think it's time to make an Uzi. No, we don't have enough. I was wrong. No, we actually do. All we need now is iron ores, and I have iron ores. Hey, that's good. Let's go to our boxes. Let's go to this mailbox. Take the iron ores. Let's finish the Uzi, man. I think I have enough cloths to make that Uzi for sure. And now I need 10 ores. Wow, I'm missing one. I'm missing one 10 ore. Why does it do this to me? Is there one 10 ore, at least, in my mailbox? I'm pretty sure there isn't. Not even a single 10 ore. I took all of it. This is karma, guys. One 10 ore missing. I basically have to go to the desert to farm one 10 ore. And I need cloths to you. But I think I have cloths in my mailbox. I don't really have much, actually. No, I do have a little bit of cloths. A little bit, though. Doesn't mean that I have enough. Or maybe if we sum it all up. Yeah, are we actually getting some? How many cloths do we have? We have 19 cloths. Don't tell me that I need one more to craft it. Make weapons. Okay, we have enough. So one iron casting is required to make another Uzi and then we will be able to finish that material bench let's uh, see if we can repair our Uzi can we simple repair I'm actually repair that let's repair this Uzi like that and that Uzi is gonna be gone man after we finish it up but we have all the mods on the Uzi right now I think I'm gonna prepare for desert run or something like that I'm gonna just pop off those modifications in this box here and since we got this stuff let's compose this and now we can upgrade our mods this one's gonna be upgraded let's just upgrade this bam modify it and now let's put it back on the uzi this so we have level three level three and level five nice actually that's level four not level five so 
this is done i think we can start making our first modification for armor and i could make this too but we need more hemp for that which means we have to loot the charlestown desert charlestown desert is really really good for hemp guys believe me or not there we go we can make another six you need resins for this and i'm running out of resins as you can see so let's craft that again we're getting the plastic now and let's go to our mailbox again and let's take out all of those all the hemp we've got i would love to take just everything out basically but i really can though because i don't have enough space to actually put everything away like this let's see if we can grab anything out i need rags like those we need hemp just a little bit of hemp though hemp stamps we need hemp bast yeah we need those more hemp legit just free our manor is going to be level five soon but we need to prepare for bricks, we need cement screws, so I gotta prepare for that upgrade, you know? I have loads of stones saved up, so maybe I should start making bricks, but I don't have bones for bricks. Okay, here we go. So, we've got... let's see how much we have. Plastic, we have 14, so we need two more, and then I will be able to make some modifications. Okay, so I'm gonna craft two more plastic, like that. I'm gonna make some rags. I'm running out of hemp. There we go, let's claim that. We got plastic. And let's see what we actually need for those mods. Steel layer, for example. We need iron for this. Nope, we're not spending on that. We need six screws for that and hides for this. So I think I'm gonna make the six screws, but that actually needs iron too. So I'm gonna make the I'm gonna start making the modification and then I'll go start farming desert. So I'm gonna put away this stuff. I'm gonna put away all of this stuff. We don't need any more. A little bit unorganized, guys, but it's okay. I need more berries. As you can see, I'm running out of berries now. I think I have some in my mailbox. This is the best and fastest recipe, so I'm just crafting that. Meat skewers, pretty good, right? Let's eat that. And now, let's see if we have any berries. We do have a couple. We can even grow those berries. Yeah, we have berries in our mailbox. That's great. We even have fish baits and food and bandages. Looks like we have more hemp. Let's chop our trees that grew in the garden. It's taking some time. There we go. We're done. Let's buy two trees out of the, you know, shop. It's cost 1,000 gold for this. Wasn't really worth it, but since we don't have any other way, so I'll just buy the oak seedlings from the shop. No worries, guys. Gold is easily obtainable. No worries at all. All we have to do now is just plant the two ones I've bought from the market. Right over here. One planted here. And then the next one's gonna be right over here. There we go. Two of those desert trees, one of this forest tree. And now I have berry seeds, so let's plant some berries, because I need some too. And my drill is done too, so let's get rid of that. This drill is just in a bad spot, dude. We need to move things here. We're getting potassium, guys. Potassium nitrate. So I can use another drill, but I don't know about this extractor, dude. Anyways, guys, I cleaned up my garden a lot. As you can see, there's just signs left here. So basically, it takes a little bit to, you know, get the gold and clean up everything. But it's pretty easy, actually, if you sell stuff on the market. If you just grind for the gold, you will be able to get gold pretty fast. I need one more gathering level. And then once I reach that level, I will be able to craft a fire axe. And then I will have a level 3 tool. And on level 19, I will be able to make a level 3 pickaxe, which is great. There we go. Tree's done chopping. Let's plant another one here. And then we're good to go. Now, all I have to do is just fertilize my trees. There we go. Let's fertilize this. My partner is not online, so... I cannot really do anything. I'll probably have to play alone this time. Let's fertilize this tree too. Let's water the trees. Let's get it growing, boys. Let's get it growing. Bam, all done. I'm kind of lazy to water the rest here, so whatever. Let's leave those there. I need to clean up my boxes. I mean, my inventory a little bit. Then we can start our trip, basically. But all my boxes are already full, as you can see. I put my rocks here. Okay, there we go. That's good. And I need to sell the blue blood I've got from the zombies. And also, I'm gonna grab four iron ores to make myself some new tools now we're good so let's go travel to the city again i'm going to make my armor modification now because that's what i need so this one oh we can make a level two backpack huh that might be a good thing to make guys i'm pretty sure i should probably go for this one first you know what let's actually do that let's go for the backpack first and now we need four more plastic for this. Okay, so we need more hemp, guys. That's gonna take some time to gather for this armor. And then the chain layer, steel layer also will require us plastic. If you go to markets, nothing really happening in the market. Some dudes just selling random Uzis right there. But I need to grind out my market right now, guys. Right now, we have to go 
and just grind it out. My Uzi is looking sexy smexy though, guys. It's pretty powerful now. So if we go into Charlestown or Sandcastle, I think I'm gonna go to Charlestown now. Someone apply for camp again. Marian M. You get to be on a video, brother. Big fandom. I am active. Congratulations. You're accepted, bro. If you're watching this vid, what's up, man? Hope I will see you in the comment section. Anyways, so people are contributing. People are sending resources in here and that's great. But we have way too much wood. We need a little bit more stones than wood. Let's actually build a little bit of stuff here. How much does a door cost? Does a door cost much to upgrade? Enhance. It costs stone to upgrade a door. Okay, nothing too bad. Just 50 stones to upgrade a door. That's not bad. And it costs 10 ores. Okay, it costs 10 ores. That's not good. Okay, so let's go upstairs. I think I'll have to upgrade my floors. And let's add some walls here. Like this. Looking great, dudes. Wall here. Get rid of the floor. I cannot add a window. There's no windows in this base. So we're gonna make basically just a box. Just a base. A simple box box dude like that we have loads of wood but not stone there we go this one's done and now we're just gonna add up floors up here just like that there we go look at this base guys it's a fortress now it's a freaking fortress let's see how a upgraded stone floor looks like i want to see that enhance let's upgrade this Hey, that looks pretty neat. How much do we need? And we need six tin ores to upgrade it to iron. And there's even steel floors. Jesus Christ. I'm upgrading this base just for prosperity. And we have to have a nice base set up, right? So yeah, let's go farm some stuff now. This area is really good for desert resources. So is sand cancel, guys. And here we are in the Charles town. As you know, guys, I need a little bit of hemp for those rags. So I'm probably going to collect hemp like these getting hemp stems we're getting rocks i really hate when zombies camp these you know resource points but there's plenty of resources for me to gather in charlestown i am running pretty low on resins as you can see i have 56 left and we're gonna need a little bit more for plastic to craft and yeah we do need hemp a lot of hemp just for the modifications just for the rags we need a lot of hemp and good thing i brought some food did i actually bring food food no we only have one left i don't think that's enough for me guys to gather some stuff from here is it actually enough actually that's not enough i only had two meat skewers and the rest was left in my base untouched wow look on the mini map there's a lot of hemp here but this is not that much hemp there's way more hemp somewhere here like there there you can find loads of hemp so i'm gonna go here where i marked on the map but we're definitely gonna gather all the hemp that's here though we can't leave it behind, right? Stone, you get a lot of tin ores and sulfur and stuff for mining here. And also, guys, another thing is you always have to be on a full hunger. So when you're full hunger, obviously, you get more resources for mining rocks and stuff. As you can see, every swing, I almost get a resource, like one tin ore, you know, almost every swing. Not, not all of the time, but you have an increased chance because if your belly is full, it's way easier to get a resource. And you also have a faster, you know, collection speed. So you chop faster and so on. As you can see, wood cores, resins, all that stuff. Normally, out of one tree, you get probably like one, two. But staying on full hunger, guys, helps a lot. So make sure you eat up before you start farming. I'm gathering everything I can, brother. There's loads of stuff. But guys, most importantly now, what we need to do is get that Uzi crafted. And then I have to do tasks because I haven't done any yet. And then we're going to be leveling up till we get gather level 20. And then I think at level 20, we will be able to do desert flag. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's going to help me so much. And that's going to basically change the market a little bit because it will be so much easier to craft iron castings and craft unlimited amount of Uzis and then sell them. But we got to hurry up on that because when people unlock the desert flag, everyone's going to spam the market and probably the market's going to die once people, you know, get the Uzis crafted and all that stuff. So we have to hurry up a little bit on getting that. There is already people with level 19 gatherings and level 20, I think. But I don't think, I don't actually think there's level 20 gatherings yet. But soon, people is going to get level 20 gathering. There's sheeps around here. Okay, I'm going to let you live, sheeps. All I'm here for is my hemp. 10 ores. And that's probably it. Maybe it's resins too. Okay, we have 56 hemp. We still need loads more. That's not enough. That does not satisfy me, does it? Let's craft an iron axe. We got some hemp here. And once I get the 590 amp gun, guys, we're gonna be going to the power plant, leveling up our combat there, and till I reach like, you know, 30, and then we're gonna be Gucci, man. But the problem is, we have to get a 590 amp, obviously, right? That might take some time, but no worries, we'll get it, we'll get it. I'm saving up blueprints now, let's actually check the shop. 
Daily offer. Oh, we can buy the blueprints. Awesome, dude. We can buy the blueprints. Once I reach level 20 crafting, we will be able to, you know, grind out some blueprints. And hopefully we can roll out the 590M from the blueprint machine. And once I get those formula shards every day in my shop, I'm, I'm, I'm always happy, man. I just love seeing that pop up in my shop. Okay, let's eat this food. I'm gonna delete this thing. There's just one. And I think we have to start depositing our resources with the drone. The drone's literally right there, so... You know, it's, it doesn't hurt to just grab it and then send resources with it while we're still here. But now I'm full inventory, almost. Gonna be soon. I keep deleting stuff, but now we're gonna be pretty, pretty clogged up with stuff. Ten ores, ten ores, ten ores. Give me those ten ores. Keep it rolling, man. There we go, we're full now. This is the last ten ore stack that I can get. So, let's grab the drone. Drone's literally here. Grabity grab that. And let's go to the area I marked, which is here. It's actually right over here somewhere. There's a lot of hemp here. That's a lot of hemp spawns, guys. If you want to farm hemp, this is where you can farm hemp. There's like... 20 spawns here maybe i don't know but that's loads there's loads of zombies too and they're level 30 i'm pretty sure let's go check if it's level 30 zombie is it it's level 20 zombies level 20 but that's still dangerous though so i'm gonna charge the drone and then put everything away i'll be able to pick up some hemp again all right our drone's charged and it started raining but uh, okay man let's put in the drone get the resources deposited we have 20 10 ores farmed okay the problemo we have now is my taxes on the clan is pretty damn high. So I'm gonna send 10 ores one by one. So as you can see, if I send, let's say we send three, let's see how many 10 ores we will get. We got two 10 ores. As you can see guys, stone tax 25%. You can change the stone tax yourself to 5%, you know, but we need stones for our clan. So if I send two 10 ores, I'm probably gonna get one. Let's see. Yeah, as you can see, one tin ore. The tax is pretty damn high, dude. So if I send one tin ore, there's all you will always get one tin ore, right? Because it's, it's one. They can't steal your tin ore. As you can see, one tin ore, one tin ore. So yeah, I'll have to send tin ores one by one because I really need them. And my mailbox is gonna be clogged by doing this, but I'll have to clean up manually. I know it's pretty annoying when the taxes are high, but we really need stones for the technologies in our clan, so this is why we have 25% stones tax. Anyways, we deposited stuff. This is how much I've earned from selling in my Uzi. I've sold my Uzi for 26k gold, and we got 20,000 gold out of that. So, not that bad. I mean, that's some gold right there. Not sure what I will be buying with that gold, but probably other weapons. And let's keep gathering the hemp. Finish it up, dude. My sound legit just turned off when I was playing and for some reason I couldn't hear sound anymore. But once we loot this area, I'm gonna mine all the stones around here. The hemp is going to respawn later, but now I just need the stones. Get them all, make sure it's all in my backpack. I don't know if you guys like farming in this game, but farming is, I don't know, kinda annoying sometimes and kinda cool sometimes. I'm kinda hyped to farm sometimes, but at the same time, sometimes I'm like, Hey, dude, this takes forever, man. But I mean, if a resource is easy to get, I don't mind farming, you know? I'm not sure if you guys enjoy watching farming. Let me know in the comment section, though, if you don't. Or if you do. Okay, the hemp is respawning. Look at the map. It's respawning, as you can see. All the hemp is just coming back. They just, boop, pop out. Look at that. See? Just watch it. Look, another one just spawned on the river. Damn, bro. I think they have a specific time or when to spawn. Or I think they spawn after a minute or two minutes, but I just collected this one and it just spawned again. Maybe it's set to respawn on specific time. Not that when you pick it up, it just respawns, you know? Actually, we are out of blue bar. Let's eat some brick food. The luxurious drumstick meal. Okay, or our blue bar is restored. Let's go. And once I reach like, you know, level 26 or something, I really want to go down this, you know, hole right over here. This is a level 30 area, guys. And down there we can unlock a lot of boxes that is locked and we will need to craft keys there and go down and that way we can farm blueprints so yeah that's gonna be a grind we gotta get to level 25 on combat now but no problem dude i'll do that oh and this area right over here where i am right now is there's a little bit of stones here you know so if you need some stones you can go to this area here somewhere here like from here around here you can find some stones so this area does have a little bit of stuff so my pickaxe just broke let's craft another pickaxe i need wood i don't have wood now we need to chop trees for wood i'm glad i have my iron axe we got an oak seedling hey that's good hey well do not do not try me my man I am lagging. 
He dropped me meat, but I'm gonna delete that. And the claw stew gets deleted. Hey, look at this, boy. Who is this? You're dead. Get out of here, man. You're farming in my freaking zone. Eluia. You're dead. Anyways, we should be able to craft a pickaxe. There we go. Let's craft a pickaxe. We got a pickaxe. Let's finish the farming, guys. Okay, my inventory is full. I can't even unequip my pickaxe anymore because I'm full. So let's grab a drone from here. Right over here. Let's go. Charge it up. And then we're gonna put it down. Deposit some resources. We're gonna go back to our base and make the Uzi and sell it in the market. Put it down, put it down, put it down, brother. Nobody shoot me while I'm putting it down. Alrighty, send all. We got 10 ores. I wonder how many will I get if I send it now. I'm gonna send it one by one anyways. Let's mail this to camp. Let's transfer the 10 ores now. Alright, we're done sending resources. Let's go back to our... Ooh, what's this? Look at that. See that? Hey, we're gonna kill somebody, guys. Look at that guy right over there. You're mine, man. You're dead meat. You're dead meat. I'm coming for you, bro. You better prepare yourself. This guy is doing some fireworks there or something like that. Hey, man, you're bleeding. I'll see ya. Let's shoot this guy. Give him some damage. Hey, no, 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 no. You come back down there, brother. Where do you think you're going, Mishka Z? He has some resources. All right, all right. We got that. We got that. Let's go back to our base, guys. All right, be back in the base. Let's store the stuff we have into the lockers. Like this, like this, like this. And now we can go back to the base. Actually, you can't even go to the heli when you have infected items. The heli will automatically transport all the stuff you have to the locker. So you don't need to manually put it. You can just go to the helicopter and it's gonna put it automatically to the lockers. So basically that we're back from the zone farming trip, guys. I am on 1 HP, not sure why and how, but okay. It literally pisses me off when that sound keeps happening and happening. Okay, our backpack is doing great, guys. What we need now is just a Uzi, and then we're gonna sell it in the market. Let's go check our mailbox, guys. This is what we got. We have to claim all the tin ores, man, that we got from that zone. Just one by one tin ores, dude, sitting in my mailbox. Might take some time to even loot this out, but we got a couple tin ores, that's great. And now, we're out. Alrighty guys, we got 10 ores, let's craft the last iron casting that was needed to be crafted, make weapons. Let's make iron casting, then claim it, and now let's make the Uzi, we can finally make an Uzi. Boom, Uzi Snow Elite. You will use resources or items owned by your roommate when crafting, the products can be traded, continue. Are you serious? I cannot craft it, because some resources are actually untradeable no way i need four more pig iron please tell me i have iron guys i hope i have enough iron for this i need to stash some stuffsies too like hemp all of that juicy stuff we've got we gotta plant those trees away i'm gonna take a nap dude so i need four more pig iron wait i think i have iron in my mailbox i'm so sure i do but if i don't oh we have uh, some of those okay so we need eight more iron we don't have iron in our mailbox. That's just disappointing. Or do I? I think I do, actually. I don't know, man. I have a feeling I do have iron ores. It's just that they're probably... No, we don't have... Now we have to go farm iron ores. Karma, guys. This is karma. Well, yeah, since we got hemp, we can start making rags again. And now we're out of hemp again. But I can make cloth. Let's do that. Now we're gonna go to forest. Waste our time there. That's how things continue, guys. Can I plant one more tree somewhere here? I cannot. That's bad. I have one oak seedling and I cannot use it. Let's go to town again. Let's actually sell the blue blood from the zombies because I always forget to do that. So let's sell it now. Talk to Lisa. Show me your goods. Sell. Sell. We got some cash. Let's go. Let's do this quick, guys. Let's go to the forest and get out. So since I have forest flag unlocked, the only thing that I could try is going to the forest flag, buy iron ores, and that's it. If I don't have enough points, that means we have to farm rocks but if i have enough flag points that means we can buy iron ores yeah we have enough great let's buy 20 iron ores let's actually buy all of this let's just buy all of this dude we're down to 10 points now and we got 32 iron ores the taxes is high too so i'm not getting many iron ores when sending it home dude i really want to mine those rocks but i can't because i haven't done any tasks in the forest yet so let's see what we can do here oh a backpack someone died here nice oh we have iron ores here already but i'm already on limit what the hell okay so i see we have no resources sent for today so let's transfer all the iron ores that i've had let's actually transfer transfer 12 and see how many we will get out of 12 because the tax is gonna screw me up. We get only 8 iron ores 
out of 12. Hey, that's a scam. Now that's a scam, dude. I'll get back to you guys once again. All right, guys, last piece of iron ore. Let's go. Send. We're out. We're out of all the stuff. Let's send this stuff too. Why not? And now let's go back to the base. Oh my dudes, this takes forever just for a news. You see what do we have to do? We have to go to the forest. We have to go to the desert. We have to do that. We have to do that. Craft that. And then you realize, hey man, I'm missing one resource. How about that? Hey man, I'm missing some iron. How about that? And then you have to go back to the forest. And then you have to go back to the desert. Dude, come on. Okay, let's go back to our base. Quick travel, guys. Quick travel. You know, we're gonna make our goddamn Uzi. Oh yeah, first we have to claim all the iron ores again. Just like that. Spam that take button, dude. Okay, as you can see, iron ore plus one plus one. That's stuck basically there. We can now make the Uzi. But we still have to make the hexagon nails because those are untradeable for me. Because I've used my partner's items, so that's why they become untradeable. So now let's make three of those. Okay, so let's make the pig iron. We need only twigs for that. Let's claim all of this stuff that we crafted. Nicely done. Get the two pig iron, craft the last hexagon nail, and now tap to claim, and now use the SMG snow elites. That's how we do it. Use is done, guys. I think it's time to claim. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got the Uzi. All right, so Uzi's crafted, but look what came up right here. What is this bull crap? My Uzi crafted, and I cannot sell it for some reason. While when I crafted my Uzi, it didn't show me that you're crafting an Uzi with untradeable items. And look what I have left. Look what I have left, bro. These hexagon nails that I crafted are tradable, and the game actually crafted my Uzi with untradeable items. So that just makes me feel, dude, awesome that I, I got trolled by the game. I cannot sell my Uzi now because it crafted a untradeable Uzi. That is so so stupid i mean we can craft another uzi right if we go to uzi smg we need five more nails 15 more of these and we need 10 more castings again i mean we can get that so finally i was able to grind out for the uzi and this time we're gonna double check if the uzi is untradeable or tradable and are we using tradable materials or not let's actually just see for ourselves okay so let's cancel the uzi crafting and let's see, tradable materials, tradable, tradable, tradable. Now we can craft the Uzi finally without worrying that it's not tradable, guys. Let's craft this and once it's done and while that's crafting, let's go upgrade our backpack to, as you can see, it's already done crafting. I can take it out, level two, expand backpack, very nice. So this backpack can be upgraded if we go to the camp town again. Let's just fast travel there. Drop down to the armor shop, talk to Lisa, expand backpack, and it costs 10 grand to expand to 25 slots. So expand, and now we can craft another one, but that's done at like level 5 house. Yeah, that's done at level 5 house. So we need mastery level 20. And that costs a little bit more, instead it requires film fabric and nylon cloth, so that's way more expensive, and once we upgrade to that backpack, that will give us 27 slots total, and then that's it. So, since we got the Uzi guys, what we can do now is, let's go to a trade zone so we earn more gold than we usually would with selling it in the clan or in the 101. So let's go to trade zone right over here, and let's go to these guys. And here we are in the trade zone. Let's go here, trade stall, and if we click on our Uzi, let's set it the lowest price possible. For example, one. The lowest price is 5k, so let's set the price to 30,000 maybe. Let's set the price to this. All right, there we go. Let's set it. Let's check other people's prices for the Uzi. We go to weapon and SMGs, 12 for sale. I think we're late to the party, guys. Loads of people are selling Uzis already. See? Look at this guy. He's selling it for 380 for 20k. But if you go to weapon, SMGs, 6 for sale. A lot of people are selling it for these prices. This one's 400. Jesus Christ. So let's lower the price a little bit. Let's lower it to like 28. Yeah, let's lower it to 27999. Yeah, let's do that. That should work out. So yeah, guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you're enjoying those series, guys. Leave some feedback in the comments. And make sure you like this video if you, of course, did. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.